Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are back for some more modern action. We got another Patreon submit deck list today. This one is one of Anthony's two for the month. Um, again, sorry for getting monster last minute, but yeah, schedule has got crazy. But I'm getting them out now. Um, I think I'll have all of them recorded and uploaded before the end of the month. Um, if not, I will have it out in the first of the month for sure. So the first list for him, we're trying a Shardless Urza Saga deck. So Shardless Agent. Got lots of good Cascade targets here, including some Bobbles down here. Um, we got some Urza Sagas. We got some Merktides at the top end. Three Forces. We got one Brazen Borrower, two Snapcasters, some Tarmogoyfs. Assassin's Trophies, some Spreading Seas, Thought Seas, Inquisitions. I like both of those. Um, Spell Bomb should be pretty good. Which is that. We got a Shadow Spear to go along with our Sagas. Um, yeah, I mean, we got 22 lands total, but we have Spell Bomb and. Excuse me. Spell Bomb and Bobble to draw us closer, plus Spreading Seas draws us cards. Um, and we curve out at three, so we don't need that many lands. Now over to the sideboard, we got some Mystic Disputes. We got another Spreading Seas. We got some Weather of the Storms. We got some Brutalities. We got a Damnation. We also have an Ashiok. Two Ashioks. We have one Shadow of Doubt. Two Engineer Explosives and two more Nihil Spell Bombs to round out the sideboard. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go. We'll see. But... You know... I like Saga, it's a powerful card. Charlotte's Agent's good. Spreading Seas are good. Goyf is okay. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But as you guys know, before we hop into the games, let's go over our different ways you can support the channel if you're interested. Number one is Mana Traders. Um, this helps you guys out way more than it helps me out. Gets you uh, links to get started on your own rental account. Play some MCGO. Rent some decks. Have some fun like our deck we're playing today. Referral links in the description below. Then we have Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get your deck played on the channel. Or for $10 a month, you can get your two decks played out of any format you'd like on the channel. Of course, right now with my schedule being as weird as it is, you guys, the only way to guarantee you get your video that you want to see played is going to be through Patreon. And then lastly, but definitely not least, YouTube. Like, comment, share. All these things help out. The algorithm helped me out a ton. Um, also, if you guys want to get notified, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. You'll get notifications whenever I post new videos. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys, and uh, let's go ahead and hop in around one. All right, on the play. Alessandro94. Well, um, I mean, this is a keep. Do, 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 do. Hostage taker, eh? I'm going to take Qualler. Hmm. Guess just bank good stuff? No. What are they playing? Five color snow? Huh. I mean... If they, they don't have a fetch in hand. Never mind. They're not going to... Kind of when they were going to give me the chance to drown something, but almost no chance. Alright, we're going to fetch. Um, because of their way their mana is, I'm not going to grab a basic. I'm going to grab a triome instead. Okay, well, now we are going to grab a basic because we have so many 
Extra land still. Swamp. I'm just going to spin the wheel. I assume they're going to quaddle in response here. Yep, looks like it. Yep. Quaddle. I like the timing of this quaddle because this is going to let us take the card they drew if we want to. Yikes. What in the world? I'm going to take Prismari Command, I guess. The hostage taker, they can't cast it in the same turn. So I'm going to spend next turn pushing the hostage taker. They're not doing what I expected. Which is quite surprising, to be honest. Okay. Oof, Merktide, huh? I think we're going to save that. I, th I feel like next turn they're definitely going to try to jam this Hostage Taker. Although they do have this pulse that I really don't want them to use on my Merktide, to be honest, too, actually. Okay. Second Quaddle. Need one more snow covered permanent. So their opponent's got 66 cards left in their deck. Our opponent's just playing some kind of wonky ass deck, apparently. Let's see what they do. Yep, here comes the hostage taker. Oh, you know what? They'll get to keep their quaddles, but we can actually... I think Merktide and Drowned. Yep, we take it. No blocks.
There's our Murktide. We got Drown Lock back up to protect it. Yep, here comes the Maelstrom Pulse, just like we expected. And because of the Hostage Shaker kill, they have three spells in their graveyard. This Swamp also just looks like it should be on a, like, with Pack Rat. Yep, no ship attempts. Another Temple Guard, no cap. So two unknowns still. Second Merc type, baby. Right. Let's uh, let's jam. And I'm not opposed to making a four four. Chumping, huh? If I would have thought this wasn't going to get blocked, then I should have done it the other way around. Also, we probably should have held the Overground Tomb, right? We have nothing that's going to cost us much mana. I'm not liking my hair right now, so I'm putting the hat on. Rut Row, Naya colors. Oh, and black. Oh, bring the light. Oh, shit. It will be a problem. Okay. Well, now that we know what they're doing. We got lots of good options here. You gotta be fucking with me right now. Okay, so <sighs> draw fucking five, my guy. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I just figured out what deck we're playing again next. I'm an Inquisition, then we're going to concede here. Um, okay. Also jamming the Heeries here. Alright. Counter spells. Spreading seas to shut off their mana. And these puppies. Cannot take out threats. Um...
I don't even know what to take out here. This is so tough. I don't want to take out threats because we have very few ways to win the game. Let's try that, I guess. I don't. I'm not a fan at all of this. Actually, no. I want. I want any counter spells I can get. I think it's gonna bring the lights a problem. Did they reveal Yorion last time? No way, right? Alright, you win over. And Thoughtseize. Well. Oh, baby. Love me an old-fashioned stone rain there. Yeah, you know damn straight they're going to be careful every time they do something from now on after that. It's a prime example. You only get caught once. Nope. I mean, obviously, we could have tried to save it for a bigger... Gotcha. Who's mm -hmm. Mari? Okay, two guys we didn't know they had.
Green feels like the most important color they have, so let's take that off. Well, if they're going to play a, a blue spell, we can still counter it, theoretically, with Dispute. They're clearly not setting up for anything too big, because they're not used playing their tapped lands. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna need a push. Unfortunately, I don't know how we beat a Niv Mizzet. So for now, we keep our mana open. The Goth Triome cycled. So another trial. Means our hand must be full of lands. Holy shit, I just realized how much time difference there is. Yep, there's red. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna discard Brazen Borrower. 22 lands isn't enough. Uh, this deck's way not aggressive enough, I think, to be trying to play that game. Like, um, if we add in some more aggressive elements, we really start trying to go at our opponent here, I think then we might have some room. Uh, what are the odds they have a basic swamp? I'm dumb. They got fucking black sources right there. What a fucking idiot. It's fine. If we got another spreading season, another trophy, we can take them off red, theoretically. What, they just got debunked?
got a card in their hand that we didn't know about. Sure. Mm hmm Okay. fucked up. All right, let's just um, I guess technically that's what I wanted. So is that. Mm -hmm. One. Two, it's not as big as I wanted, and it did shrink the goif by one, but seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm bad at math. That's 13. Oh, they bring the light so I can force it. And then we can attack for the little win. Obviously, I can't do anything about that. <clears throat> Hear that? It's a sound of desperation, my friends. Sound of desperation. Come on, green for bring to light, green for bring to light, green for bring to light, please. Got him. All right. Game three now. It was more exciting than it needed to be. All right. Let's take a goif. Now. Just leave it as is. Don't need to make any changes, I don't think. It's always fun right when your opponent plays right into your game plan. That is a very nice forest. The angel in the background. Very aesthetically pleasing.
This is a nice looking hand. Like a little more blue, but hard to say no to a turn one thoughtsies. Then we got El Ashiacarino. Hmm. That's bizarre. Okay. So, Thoughtsies to open up. Alright, so we got Blood Braid, Quaddle, Helix. Let's take the Blood Braid. I think we can deal with Bring to Light pretty easily with the Ashiok. Plus, we got Force for it. And while we can kill the uh, Blood Braid, I'd rather not come to that. I'd rather just deal with it now. Land one time. U T full. <laughs> Surprise our opponent didn't fetch his calling turn on their turn. Apparently they're not afraid of shadow of doubt anymore. Oh, a tap plan. That's surprising. Is a little surprising. Do 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 do. Man. All right, maybe they'll, maybe they'll forget to fetch and we'll get them. Well, it's exactly what happened. Remember, folks, you miss every shot you don't take. And this, my friends, is why you read the card and play around Shadow of Doubt. After you've been shadowed once already, of course. Yep, they're going to Helix Ashiok here. Well, opponent temporarily lost connection for a second. See if they come back or not. Okay, so while I stand by the fact that I don't think we have a low enough and aggressive enough uh, strategy for Urza Saga, I think the rest of the deck's decent build. I think we just need to up the land count by probably two in that 24 range. Alright, I'm going to pause until our opponent comes back in case they uh, a, a, either A, don't come back, or B, take most of the rest of their five minutes. Alright, so moral of the story is either the opponent quit, rage quit, or they just lost connection and couldn't get it back in time. Um, they lost due to inactivity, so yeah, uh, this match I think would have gone pretty well for us anyway. Um, we're in a pretty good spot here. Cutting them off of that land and then their hand not being very good. Plus, you know, they deal with Ashok. We still have the force for their uh, bring to light. And honestly, uh, 
I think I was going to spend one activation next turn gilding our graveyard full. So we could Merc Tide the same turn. So that was what I was going to do that turn. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in just a minute in the next round. All right, so this ends a little awkward. Um, only two lands, but it's great uh, discard here. So, Plus we got the old black-green X uh, opener of discard into Goyth. Okay, they're cycling. That's a problem. That that could be a big issue here. Um, interesting they're cycling during their turn, though. But I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're going to thought seize them. Fuck me sideways. Grief doesn't really matter. Again, we have double thought seize, So they are just limiting their hand pretty significantly here. Making our thought seize that much better. Um... I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused I almost clicked the wrong land. I mean, bad news for them? Check their hand. I guess it's like the cycling card. They'd have to draw two more lands, both of being black sources, in order to suspend this, so. I mean, I'm just going to take it. Like, I, I see no reason to leave it at this point. I think this game, this is a prime example of the kind of situation I was talking about, like the aggressive angle with the Saga. Yeah, we got this one locked in the bag now. There's not about to be any real... Sure. 
Drew a second living in, which means I only have two in the deck. Okay. They gotta take a fatal push here, which is doesn't matter to me. No green source means we win. Yep, now we just sit on Spellbomb because they can't double cascade us right now. I was going to say, just I'm just attacking. I'm not doing anything else here, opponent. Um, so don't search. Ashrock deals with graveyard, so does Spell Bomb. Shadow Spear can come out and pushes. Is Spreading Seas maybe good enough? No, I don't think so. I don't think I want to add any more Spreading Seas, but I'm not going to also take the ones I have in the deck out. Although maybe Shadow of a Doubt is better just because it draws me a card too. And I can stop a fetch land that's on board? No, I don't know. Okay. Sand Lux. It's like a it's like a nine out of ten. Eight. It's an eight out of ten. If there's an untapped line to be a ten out of ten. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I feel confident with that. Man, that's a hard hit on this Thoughtseize. Boy, that hurts. But we should have expected as much. No land, though, from our opponent here. Um, we might be able to make their life a little tough now. Yep. I mean, can't do anything about it. I'm assuming they're taking uh, our, our Tarma Boy. They take Force. Interesting. Okay. No lands, but they're preparing for the inevitable. I mean, I like it. Sog is a little slow here, but the not hitting land drops means it might not be too slow after all. Oh yeah, I think this is about to become a cakewalk. I think I think this is about to be the, the end. I don't think they have any chance now. Mm, yep, I would say I feel the concession coming. Alrighty. Well, not a very eventful second match, but we got the win. Um, overall, the deck did what it's supposed to do. Um, Saga there in a situation where we want to be defensive is decent. Um, I just, I don't know, I think with 22 lands, we're a little light. I think we need to maybe play a little bit more into it by getting a little bit higher on lands. Maybe playing like Life in the Loam, some stuff like that. Um... 
Yeah, I, I think we should be playing some Life from the Loams. Um, maybe lean into that. Saga and Loam's pretty good. Um, hmm. Oh no, I got some ideas. I got some ideas. I got some ideas. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll visit those ideas either maybe next month or in another video, but I have some, and I like it. All right, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next video.